It has been just a bit since I made it my last video. Uh, uh, since then, I have had and partially recovered from pneumonia. So that's always fun. Uh, love the antibiotics. No, I don't. Um, and uh, we had the elections, uh, all that business. Uh, and uh, I may comment on some of that in the future because I am I'm very interested in that. Uh, but I just, just re-watched a TED Talk about the neuroscientist that had the stroke. Uh, now it's on Ted Ed, and, and I don't have the information in front of me, but uh, I had seen it. It was probably my favorite Ted talk. And it uh, in it, she describes how she, part of her brain that associates with her individuality, her distinction and her separation from everything is where she had the damage, the stroke. So she felt that nirvana and heaven and oneness with the universe and was uh, what she called La La Land, but this magical place where she loved. And it's really, watching it through again and thinking about it again, struck me how you hear about all these gurus and mystical healers and, and everyone saying for to try to get to that place. We need to get to the place where we're all one and everything is blissful and the whole heaven, it part. And I find it so interesting how evolution, natural selection, has actually selected for us to not exist in that state. It actually is detrimental to our survival to exist in that blissful, everything's connected, uh, nirvana, pleasant, had, had we been selected for that, or, or we, we haven't been selected for that, uh, or else we would be like that naturally, but it, it struck me as, as sort of important, I suppose, that we aren't, we don't exist like that. And I can see how, as a species, uh, you would quickly die out if you, oh, we're all one with the universe. Oh, look, Mr. Bear, you're part, and you're dead. So being separate from everything else is the basis of evolution. It's, without being separate and understanding your separateness and not skipping to my loo through life, it, that will not make you, as a species, survive. But the separation and the dis dis distinction and knowing where the dangers are and that you're not at one with all in the universe. So I, I, I think it's funny how gurus are saying we should meditate and become one and, and all love each other when we have, through natural selection, been selected to not be at one with the universe. That's not, as Mother Nature has determined, not the best way forward. Now, just a thought on the top of my head, I haven't done a video and I was craving, I don't know, hearing my own voice. So, there you go. Thanks. Hope everybody's healthy.